Hey everybody, it's Wes from Printful. And I'm Claire with Bella Canvas. We're here at Bella Canvas today in Los Angeles to talk about styling your tee for Instagram. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, we'll teach you three different ways that you can style your tee to boost not only engagement, but also your sales. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe and click on that bell icon so that way you never miss the latest content just like this. Claire, I'm so excited to be here and to learn from you and how to do all these different Instagram posts. Can you tell us like right off the bat like why we should pay attention to Instagram in general? There's so much stuff floating around out there anyway, but why Instagram? Instagram is the new creator version of Google. I mean, that's where everyone's going to now to do all their search. They're searching for hotels, places to travel, new brands to try, you know, clothing trends, what celebs are wearing and doing and visiting, everything. I kind of use that now for myself, even as like my own search engine. There's tags, there's locations, everything's there. So what you put on your Instagram account really matters because that's probably going to be the first place that people look. Also, I say that Instagram never sleeps. It's always evolving and growing, so you kind of have to keep up with it, and that's kind of where all like, the newest, latest trends are happening. When there's a new restaurant I want to check out, I'll like look at the posts that they make as well as like what people are tagging because I want to see like what am I supposed to be wearing to this restaurant? Like What's the vibe? What does the food look like? I care much more about that than like the ratings I, that I find elsewhere online. Oh yeah, and it's great because you can see other people's posts and so like you know those aren't super curated all the time and you like to right. see like, you know, you go on the tagged, the tagged photos of a business or a brand and like that's really who they are and what they look like because that's the people that are wearing it. Can you talk to me a little bit more about the posts that you make because everyone kind of has access to a camera and it's really easy but obviously not all posts are created equally, I guess, you know? So what what do you have to say about that? It's definitely a balance. It's not like you can't just take a photo with your phone and think, oh, that's gonna work on my Instagram. And you also can't have a really expensive, you know, overproduced photo shoot that's thousands of dollars. I think that because you invested so much money into it that it's gonna pay off on your Instagram. On a business profile for Instagram, um, for yourself, you can see the top performing posts. And so I kind of use that as my direction of like, okay, this is obviously what everyone likes, so I need to continue to make more of this and even like better versions of this to move right. forward. So a lot of times you'll see like, okay, this one post maybe got 100 likes, and like I spent a lot of time making it, but this other photo that I took on the fly in great lighting that was kind of somewhat staged got like 500 likes, which is right. awesome. So if a business hasn't already converted over to a business profile on your Instagram, I would highly suggest doing it. It gives you so much valuable information on who you are, who your customers are, and kind of what's working best for you. So what are we gonna be doing today as far as like, what are the three different types of like shoots we're gonna kind of set up? We're gonna do kind of three different buckets um, of social content. So there's gonna be like a lifestyle shoot we're gonna do. Um, there's gonna be a more like clear product photo that we're gonna do, still okay. involving um, a model. And then we're also gonna do a flat light, which is something that's super easy and it just kind of gets the message out there quickly. Yeah, I have like a fictional kind of outdoorsy brand that I created and I have a design and a shirt that I wanna get the photographs for that we're gonna use in these shoots. So where are we gonna get started with? So the first one we're gonna do is a flat lay shot. And we're gonna okay. use props, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through how to stage that and post it to Instagram. Well, we're set up here by the window, which I feel like is not a mistake. So why, do, why are we here by a window? Tell me about like your thought process there. Yeah, so a great thing to do with flat lays, especially if you're just kind of starting out making your content for your Instagram, is that you can pretty much do them anywhere. But something that I love to do is make sure I'm by natural light, mm -hmm. um, just because it really balances out the photo and it's a lot less editing for you in, in the end. So kind of what we've done here is we've staged this table um, by the window and we're gonna put some props in it okay. and um, kind of see how it looks in frame. So we're just gonna use a phone for this. Um, like most phones have cameras on them, so we're gonna use that. And it's likely what you'll have with you when you're going around and you take photos on the fly. So we're gonna use that. So yeah, just talk me through, um, let's do it. Right, so the first thing I did is I just folded this shirt really nice, um, made sure that the graphic we have on here is really gonna be visible in the frame. And then I've added this vintage camera to the shot because this is an outdoor vibe and I kind of want to make sure that the props involved also coordinate with the actual message we're going to be conveying. And something to note is that props are important, it helps send the message, but at the same time if you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to have too many props um, or props that aren't involved in your brand messaging at all. Great, so what we're going to do is, again, you don't want to cover the graphic, you just kind of want to accentuate it. Okay. Um, so we'll be staging props kind of nearby, okay. again just using the natural light. 
that we have near this window is really going to help us. So then okay. um, really all you do is just kind of like put your phone and your camera right over it. And like I can see in frame that some of it's not always showing through. So I'm just going to shove it in a little bit. Okay. Again, you don't want to cover the graphic. And then hit the button and then you're, you're good to go. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah. If you want to do editing, then I would suggest maybe exposing it a little bit more, adding a tiny bit of contrast, checking the white balance, and what white balance means is like, is it too blue, is it too right. orange? Um, just kind of checking those things, and then you should be good to go. And do you have any notes about kind of angles when you're doing the flat lays? Like, should you just play around with it and see like if an angle looks good, or is it typically like straight on? Or Yeah, I would say most of the time it's straight on. Um, unless there's maybe like a texture on your shirt that you want to show, then okay. it'd be nice to kind of do it a little bit more at an angle, because um, then you could probably see like a raised edge, if there's like embroidery, or if you have like puff paint, you know, you kind of want to see that added value in there. Right. Most of the time you're probably going to do straight on, because then you get the whole picture in frame. All right, we have our flat lay, so check on that. So what's going to be our second uh, look that we're going to learn? Yeah, so we're gonna do a simple product shot that's really gonna highlight how it's worn. Here we are, look two, we have a nice plain wall. So talk us through like what you're thinking, how this is gonna go down. Yeah, so a lot of people probably don't have access to a really nice photo shoot space. And so a great hack that I would suggest to people is to use maybe like an outdoor spot where there's a plain white wall. So then you're using the natural light, but you don't have too many distractions around you. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of stage how you do a tight shot on the shirt on okay. a model, Natasha, so great. Excellent, so yeah, what's kind of first? What's some things we can do as far as styling the shirt? Right, so just kind of having the shirt on here is great, but I think we can elevate it a little bit more by styling it according to how like maybe her personality is or what the um, style will be for the end customer. So right. I'm gonna suggest rolling it a little bit to give it a little bit more like fun, kind of girly, girly vibes to it since this is a pink shirt and Natasha is just so cute and then make sure like everything is just like styled well on the model and like has a cute necklace we're gonna show that um, just kind of like adds a little extra like texture and stuff going on and then you can also like roll up the shirt and kind of tie it behind you and like okay. style it that way but since you want to get the whole graphic I don't really want to mess with it too much okay. and, like Natasha will kind of stand like right here and then you just kind of want to make sure that you're not too distracted by like, for instance, we have these arm rails, right. so you don't really want to show that, and you don't want anything else around. So, um, yeah, just like getting in close. So it's nice and clean and white on the background. And Natasha already knows what she's doing. Like, she's just working it, you know, like, like elevating her shoulders, putting her hand on her hip. It's so great. So you're just taking a bunch of photos. Perfect. That was super easy and, like, looks awesome. So that photo is going to look really great. Yeah, I think it just gets the message across really quickly, and it's, again, less post-production for you to have to do later. Right, yeah, a nice, easy, clean post, displaying our product, it's great. Okay, so what's our next uh, location gonna be for our third look? Yeah, so our next one is gonna be a lifestyle shoot. So we're gonna put Natasha in a setting that's gonna look very adventure-like and really cater to the vibe that we're going for. All right, perfect, and I'm excited because it's gonna be something that everyone can kind of do, right? Like. Oh yeah, these tools are gonna be great for anyone to use in any type of setting, no matter what your brand identity is. This is really great because uh, I think a lot of people can relate to like this one and how to set stuff up because my little brand that I have here is a outdoors brand, but we're at, like industrial Los Angeles right now. Um, so like, talk to us about what's going on here, this setup and how we can like make this look legit. Yeah, so I really wanna make this super accessible for everyone. So again, like if you can't go to a mountain range or like maybe the beach or whatever it is your brand is um, supposed to be placed at, like right. you can stage it yourself. And so right now, like again, like you said, we're in downtown Los Angeles and we're in the, our Zen garden actually at our headquarters. And so we have this really nice kind of lounge chair that we have staged in front of our green backdrop. Uh -huh. And we're gonna pull some props together in our model and kind of set up a whole campsite looking feel for our lifestyle Instagram post. Great. So the yeah. first thing we're gonna do is take a blanket Excellent. that we have. We have so this blanket. is gonna be like props galore. Excellent. Um, yeah, just kind of like make it look really campsite-y. Uh -huh. So here you go, a cozy blanket. And then we have yeah. a picnic basket. Yes, okay. I love a good picnic basket. Absolutely. Um, so probably gonna stage this like here. Okay. And then we have a lovely model hey. who is ready. <laughs> And yeah, she's just gonna sit down, kind of be all cozy. And we have a um, 
fleece jacket. So this fleece jacket, again, like she's probably gonna be cold, you know? So you want like a little fleece jacket staged here. Camera, perfect. And then her canteen, awesome. So that's kind of like, you kind of want to have like your key props is going to be in the setting that the person wearing this adventure, you know, hiking shirt will probably be at. And so that's kind of like the setup. And then again, like you don't want to get too wide. You don't want to reveal your secret that you actually right. aren't at a campsite. So you kind of want to get a tight focus in here. So if I were someone taking this photo, I'd probably keep the frame in from like this section about to about where you are. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this is great because you mentioned like all these props, but it's kind of like about the feel that you're giving off, like what the message right. and feel you want. Exactly. And then you can let the other shots we set up like actually sell like the product itself, yeah. right? This is kind of like setting the scene for you. So like this, she's wearing this shirt. You're like, okay, I'm going to be wearing that shirt. I'm going to be in that setting at this campsite. Yes, like put me in that shirt by now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a shot. Asia is just really like feeling the camping vibe. These were all so helpful in like being able to do this on a budget and limited space. Um, what are three kind of takeaways that you can give us um, like leaving here? Yeah, I would say first, if your Instagram account is not a business profile, switch it immediately so you can get all the insights to what top performing posts you have and kind of what works best for you. Right. Second one I would say is use natural light whenever you're taking photos. That's really gonna help you a lot in the end. Like you're not, not gonna have a lot of editing or post-production to do, and it's gonna be a quick, easy snap. Right. Um, the third one I would say is to really make sure that you're always focusing on the product. Again, that is what you are selling, and mm -hmm. so you wanna make sure that that's the focal point in all of your posts, and I think that's gonna be all you need. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was pretty helpful and that you can now get a really great Instagram account going. If you have any questions about different ways to market your Instagram, why don't you leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Printful and Bella Canvas so that way you never miss really great content just like this.